Uh, I'm Carson Kalen, owner, Kalen Farms. We grow carrots, uh, dehigh onions, sugar beets, wheat, uh, alfalfa hay. In Brawley, California, Imperial County, Imperial Valley, and uh, uh, we farm about 3,000 acres. Okay, last year was the first year we used uh, Hortau uh, tensiometers and we used it on dehigh onions in a drip field. And uh, watching how the crop uses water using the Hortau uh, tool changed how we irrigated completely. Uh, I think we probably reduced the amount of water we were using by 25 to 30 percent. Uh, because we didn't have to. And it wasn't just drip irrigation. It was, uh, well, it's just like here in the sprinklers. Um, when we started off, our, our normal process would be to run sprinklers 12 hours a day. Well, early on in the season, what we found was to get it down to the one foot level, we only have to run it six hours a day. And so as the crop began to grow and use more water, and we could see that from the Hortau tensiometers, then we began to bump it back up. Now we're at about 16 hours. Uh, when it warms up again, uh, we'll probably be back up to 18 hours or so to, optim to keep the optimal moisture level in the field. What we learned from last year and how we're applying that this year is what makes the difference. We're able to save water and I think optimize production as well. If we didn't have this tool to work with, we'd be two or three days late every time. And you add that up over the growing season, and you've missed two or three irrigations. So what's that worth? You know, uh, if, if it's stressing because it doesn't have enough moisture, it's not growing. It's not growing at its optimum level. Uh, the other day we noticed here in this field, um, the tensiometer looked weird. There was something going on. Don't know what it was. Walked out in the field. It's darn, darn near as dry as this is. And, and so we're scratching our head wondering what's going on. Actually, what it was, we had a strong wind and uh, the sprinkler, the, the water was drifting and leaving this side dry. And that was the problem. So had we not had that tensiometer out there, we wouldn't have known it. My ranch foreman's got an iPad. He pulls it up on his iPad every day, sometimes more than once a day. I've got an iPad, I can pull it up in my office. Uh, makes all the difference in the world. That makes it really usable. And uh, uh, it's a very user-friendly uh, uh, interface. You don't have to have the really fine minutia. You know, you can look at the shape of the graph and know what to do. Uh, you don't have to look at the a spreadsheet uh, to know that yeah, it's time to water. <laughs> I think that if you're not paying attention to doing the most efficient job you can with the water that you've got, then we're going to be out of luck. We have to. Uh, I, we don't have a choice. We're, we are under the microscope. We're the, we're the biggest user of Colorado River water on the river. And uh, uh, we're the first one everybody looks at. So we need to be able to demonstrate that we're going above and beyond uh, just regular conservation, that we're you know, using these extra efforts. And, and these tensiometers, I think, are going to, uh, they're going to be a huge tool down here for doing that, for instead of running 24 hours, run 16 hours, that kind of thing. It helps us with our water budget because we are farming with a finite quantity of water per acre.